Hello fellow Twilight Imperium fans, it is a good day. My Deluxe Rulebook has shown up. So, I thought I'd give a quick preview into it, because I haven't seen a lot online yet. Uh, first though, it came with these two wonderful art prints. Uh, these are 12 inches high by 18 inches wide. They come in a tube, which is why my fellow, art, my trusty army of Transformers is holding them down. Now, the Deluxe Rule Book itself is, it's just wonderful. It's hard to see, but these lines here have a bit of a sheen to them. Um, and the cover itself is sort of almost velvety. Uh, I'm not quite sure how you call it. But uh, very, very, very good production quality. It feels like a good book. Uh, inside, signature. Heck if I can make that out, but uh, I'm assuming that it's Christian's. And they're all numbered. Some really nice photography of the board in action there. Your credits, table of contents. Forward from Christian. Developer notes from Quarry. Little retrospective, 20 years of Twilight Imperium. Different editions and such. Really nice. Developer notes, we all know Dane. He's been answering all of our questions. How the plastic evolved. Look at the races and how the, well specifically look at the, how the Hakan has evolved. Rules of play, nice big beautiful tableau there. Uh, so then this is the learn to play rules that we're all familiar with. Playing the game, agenda, tactical action, space combat. Doo -doo 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 -doo. You all know these. Galaxy setups. And then it goes right into the rules reference. So having that following is very convenient. I'm going to go a little faster through these since this makes up the bulk of the book pages wise and you already know what's in here. Complete index. And yet we are not done. It includes the lore compendium. For those of you who haven't gotten a copy of this yet, you're going to really enjoy the lore compendium. Uh, they did not put a copy of it up online, but it is... I can understand why. It's not necessary to, to play the game, and it kind of gives those of us who have the game something really nice to read. So, this is a, a really nice introductory vignette to the Traveler, uh, to the, sorry, Twilight Imperium universe. Uh, and then, some breakdowns of different time periods. The Galaxy Awakens, when things began. The Rise of Legend, this is when the Lazax began to take hold. Sunsets on an Empire, and we all know the Lazax eventually were no more. The Twilight Wars took place sometime considerably before our game takes place. An Age of Unrest. I just love that shot of the extra looking all badass. Distant Suns. Ironic, considering they did not include Distant Suns in this version, but heck of a call out to exploration in the age of rediscovering the galaxy. Echoes of the Past. Of course, old technology was found and rediscovered. Threats from Beyond. Nice little extra information about the uh, the uh, the ones who were the races who were introduced in the second expansion, the L1Z1X, the uh, Ghosts of Cruis, uh, and so on, and of course Necro. Shadow of War because War is of course looming. That. Yeah. I love that picture. It's currently my desktop wallpaper. An Empty Throne. Someone has to claim it. It's going to be one of us, right? Dawn of a New Era. Basically, get ready to go play. And then, what I love is they've reformatted the racial information for each race into a two-page spread. 
with the picture, quote, and then the detailed information. Not the, uh, the, not the, uh, what uh, ships you start off with or anything like that, but the fluff. The stuff that makes the races really interesting. So, Federation of Soul. I'm going to go a little slower through here because this content is... The content isn't exclusive to the book, but the formatting and the way that it's laid out is, which is really neat. And it's nice to see those... Uh, those t There's, they're fairly large pictures on the race cards, but it's great to see them blown up into a full page. You know, just nothing quite compares to that. Sardak Nar. I know not everyone likes the new Sardak. I actually like that look. L1Z1X or Lizix, I guess, is what normal people call them. The Nelu Collective. Mentak. The Several Tribes. The Winu. The, uh, the one dimensional but still very fun to play race. Embers of Moat. For when you were just going to blow up a sun. Or at least used to be able to. The Yin Brotherhood. And a clan of Sar. Fuzzy hamsters. Ghosts of Chris. The Arborek. Feed the Arborek Seymour. Necro. And finally, it caps out with another really nicely taken photo of a game in progress. Well, in theory at least. Closes that, and then... Boom. And I have to say, this does enhance my Twilight Imperium experience considerably. So, I have to say, really good job. I'm very proud of Fantasy Flight, and I'm really happy that I have this.